Hey, Lee Squad. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Yes, I'm eating garlic bread. And that's it. Just garlic bread. And yes, I'm sitting in the bathroom eating my garlic bread. I don't say nothing to you. When you in the tub with your little board thing going across and you got wine and cheese and crackers on yours, ain't that the same thing? I can't eat my garlic bread. I don't think it's any of your business. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been asleep in over 24 hours. Now, I was doing good. If I go to sleep now, I'm not going to wake up to about 11 or 12 or 9. So, I'm trying to do stuff to stay up. I just finished exercising. I'm going to get in the shower. My body hurts. My body don't be hurting. It just be the parts that I'm working out. Like my legs, not my arms, or my target right now. But anyways, I ain't coming on here to talk about exercise. I came on here to talk about friends. <laughs> How many of us have them friends? <laughs> Ones you can live in on friends. <laughs> anyway, I deleted someone today. Yep. I deleted someone today. And I've been watching this person come on my TikTok live. And, I mean, not live. Come on my TikTok video. Like it. That's it. Mind you, this person used to be my best friend. Come on there and like it. Never say hi. Never say anything. So in my mind, I'm beginning to think that the person just <laughs> see, I gotta tell a little of the backstory in order for you to understand where I'm coming from. I have two kids with her cousin, which is the man that I just, you know, had my heart broken over. Right? Mind you, we best friend. We was best friend. Now he's with her other best friend. Not not throwing shade or anything. I, I'm trying to get the point across why she's not on my list anymore. He's with the other best friend, right? So, now mind you, we haven't been tight and close for a minute. But, the fact, I, I feel like, even though she, I'm not the best friend anymore or whatever. To a certain extent, I still felt like she could have, you know, told me about what was going on. Even though I know everything anyways. <laughs> Anywho. Um, and it's like, in my opinion, she comes on my page and like things. So when she go back over it, she can show the other person. The, the other friend now, the other best friend, which is fine and okay with me. Because my thing is, if y'all taking what I say to heart, then it's meant for you. I ain't even thinking about them when I make my videos. I'm thinking about my personal encounters or my personal pain, hurt, or whatever I'm going through at the time. I'm just posting about my feelings. Now, if my feelings... Poke your heart or your nerves. 
Then that mean it was meant for you to hear it and take heed to it. I realized that this person did not know how to. First of all, the person don't know how to separate the friendship and the cousin. That was a big problem in itself. I tell you something as my friend and you go and run and tell him. So I only started telling what I didn't mind coming back to me. Understand what I'm saying? Never sure anything that was worth, you know, that would have been worth me being hurt over. You know what I'm saying? And most of the tears and cries and stuff that I was doing was all fake anyways, just to get what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, that part. So here's the thing about me. What I've been through in life, the things I've done in life, was all a purpose to get me to where I'm at now. You have to go through things. Some stuff you cause upon yourself, of course, and then some stuff, guys, you're going to go through that stuff anyway. So, anywho, I've been feeling some type of way. And when I see her um, come on my page, it's like it hurts my feelings because it's like, dang, I don't care about him dating your other friend. I don't care about him dating your other friend. I really don't. I cared about the friendship that you didn't know how to keep up. But I started realizing that a long time ago, right? When she seemed like she was so into this other friend. But you know what happens to me sometimes when I'm talking about a subject? And I kind of get bored with it and don't even want to talk about it no more. This is one of those subjects. I just lost all interest to even talk about. <laughs> and I am this. I just lost all interest into talk, talking about it's, it. I just made a move today that I've been wanting to make. And finally, I don't have to see her at all. Point blank, period. Because, see, it was either block the person. Or go off on the person. And what I'm not going to do. Is let your actions. Take away something that God has for me. Because I can't handle it. So I'm going to find a way. To keep doing what I'm doing. And not be offensive. Or hurt your feelings. And still get my blessing. See what I'm saying. And I have to deal with it. So if I don't see the person. Then those feelings won't come up. In me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I was about to go off. And when I go off, it is nothing nice. It is nothing nice. Because it's like to me, when I go off, I don't care. Because for one, I know I'm going to get punished for it. I know God don't get me for it how he's going to get me i know you never know how you're going to reap what you sow so i know he's going to get me but it's like at that moment it's like i don't care whatever he's going to give me i'm going to accept it i don't want to live life like that no more <laughs> just willing to suffer the consequences of the things that i don't i'm doing because i'm upset or i'm mad at the time no i don't want to live life like that these nets are bad they're going to be Bad as heck this summer. But anyways. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm not. I'm not st stooping to that level anymore. It is what it is. I don't have to see. I don't have to see you. I don't have to encounter you. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to text you. I don't have do anything um see my only problem was i should have been the let go because you can see i mean i could see that she wasn't interested in even being an associate or a friend every time i we talk it's me texting you no ma'am i'm not gonna do it anyways next subject y'all 
Wednesday, I'm going to a job fair. Oh, y'all want to know what happened to the job I was so excited about? Well, let's just say some circumstances came up. I couldn't, I couldn't, you know. And then I had another one right the day after when I was supposed to really originally start. And the next day I had another one, but I couldn't even do that because. Well, I would have loved to have done it. I'm not physically capable to do it. I'll say that. Not be, and not because of my size. That has nothing to do with it. I don't poke myself in this finger and I don't know how I poked it or when I poked it, but it's hurt so bad. But anyways, guys, I really just want to come on here and babble because I'm trying to keep you going to sleep. Yeah. Y'all know what? There is someone right now that is so into me. And I know this person is into me because they've been into me for years. And I keep beating myself up because I'm not feeling that person like that. And it's sad because this person is such a good man. I mean, a great father, a great, he's just an all-around great man. But I just, I don't be, I be thinking about that, <laughs> you know, the Tyler Perry movie where he's talking about uh, where his aunt or whoever it was, was uh this man would do stuff for her and she wasn't cutting for him, yada, yada, yada. And then finally, she uh, decided to uh, go ahead and give him a chance, fell in love, got married and everything. After, I think they got together, I don't know, what Tyler Perry say? A year or two? I'm going to say a year to five years because I don't remember. But he passed away. And then all that time she could have spent with him while he was trying to, you know, let her know how much he loved her. She let all them years go by. And when she finally gave him a chance, he passed away. That's what I be thinking about. I be like, no, nah, because God, you know, you know who is for me. And you going to let me know. So it's like, and then maybe it's the fact that he reminds me of my dad. I don't want to date my dad. I don't want to date my dad. There's some other reasons why, but I know this may sound selfish, and this is is a seventy percent chance I'll get this. But I would like to, when I get married, I want it to be my first marriage and his first marriage. Now, I can accept a marriage if it's been, you know, a minute, a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they've been, you know, divorced for at least five years and over. Because I don't want to get straight off into a freshly divorced, you know, situation. Because that's something to me all in itself. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. I don't wanna Y'all I ain't gonna make it I ain't gonna make it Cause soon as I get off this phone from recording this video I'm gonna hop in the shower And I'm gonna lay down And when I lay down I already know what the problem is It's just gonna be Yeah It's just gonna be Nighty night time What time is it? Let me see what time it is Oh it's 327 Oh baby please I'm gonna take my butt I already know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I ain't gonna probably wake up about 11, 12 at night. Yeah. Because I know I'm gonna fall asleep because I'm gonna watch a movie. All I've been doing is watching movies and listening to the Bible. The, uh, you know, the Bible. So, yeah. That's all I do. Y'all, I have no life.
I mean, I have a life because I'm here and I'm breathing and y'all see me. So I definitely have a life. like doing that because if y'all knew where i started from go back and look at those videos and look at this chin <laughs> i'm doing a great job y'all i have to do this to myself when i look at myself and i say things i have to do this for me whether you believe me or not i have to speak to myself and let me know that i am okay i'm enough who doesn't have flaws? Who cares? Not me. I think I'm going to look for a friend that used to be my friend back in the day. Lord, I hope he's not married because I'm not trying to date or anything. I just want to see if he's okay. Yeah, I just want to see if he's okay. He was somebody I really could have for too. <laughs> Story time. Have I told this story already? I don't know if I have you going to hear it again because I don't remember turning, uh, saying it. I used to be love to be on chat sites back in the day, right? And I don't even remember what. Yes, I do. Chat site used to be. I ain't going to say the name. <laughs> I'm not going to say the name. But anyways... We used to be on his chest side, and I met him, and we, you know, talked or whatever online, yada, 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 so we decided to meet, right? The first time we met, he comes in the house, I'm burning up a bologna sandwich for my mama, but he didn't know that that's how she liked her meat burnt like that, so he was like, the whole, every time he's, uh, like, if we got back in contact with each other through years, he'll be like, you still burning uh, bologna sandwiches? No, I am not. Thank you very much, mister. And, uh, again, my mom, just in case you ever see this, my mom liked her bologna burnt. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyway, we meet. Now, mind you, we talked on the phone and everything. But I didn't decide to meet. We meet, right? <laughs> when we meet I think the only thing we shared was yeah we just shared a kiss we did please kiss we had this kiss in the car they were asleep so I wonder how old those kids are now they gotta be my kids age or maybe a little older but anyways uh, we kissed or whatever now mind you i only knew him by one name and i guess that was the name his chat site name now i'm naive and new to this chat site stuff i don't really know what i'm doing i just know i'm mad fun you know what i'm saying and I, we, we clicked on the line so we end up being good friends though and kicking it for a little bit and um so we talked we talk, we talk. Kiss, goodbye. That's it. The next day, <laughs> the very next day, his wife calls me, y'all. I didn't even, I, of course you asked, are you married, are you single, are you this, are you, of course you asked that, those type of questions. I don't think I asked, was he married? But to my understanding, he was single. He was by himself. So she calls me and she's like, uh, do you know so-and-so, so-and-so? And I'm like, no. Now, mind you, I didn't know his name yet. <laughs> she was like, do you know so-and-so, so-and-so? I was like, no, I do not. And she was like, uh, she was like, uh, well, your phone number is in his phone. And I'm like, well, okay, who is he? And then she starts describing him. She was like, because he likes girls that, I guess my picture was was on the phone or something. <laughs> I don't know. And she was like, yeah, you his type. You the type of girl that he be, you know, that he like. And I'm like, um, 
hold up. What does he look like, right? <laughs> so she describes him, and it is him. And I was like, oh, I was like, first of all, I didn't even know that that was his name. I, I said the name that I knew. I can, I don't know what the what the name was right today. Nigga didn't even give me his real name because he wasn't planning on doing a but job probably uh cheating on. I don't know if they was married or separated at the time. I really don't know. <clears throat> so she's like, uh, have y'all had sex? I was like, no. I said, but he is a good kisser though. Not even trying to be funny or anything. I'm just really letting her know. No, we didn't have sex, but we did share a kiss. And she was like, uh, so when did y'all meet? I said, he, I saw him yesterday. He came over here to visit me. That was our first time meeting. And I was like, <laughs> she was like, uh, what was my kids with him? And I was like, yeah, they was in the back car asleep. Yeah, I laugh at it now, but see, here's the thing. You know, we talk about reaping what you sow, right? The reason why I'm not going to reap messing with somebody else's husband is because I didn't know he was married. And after I found out, I never saw him again until years later when they was really separated and divorced. <clears throat> Y'all hear my voice? Ugh, this freaking, freaking freak. But anyways, I didn't mess back with him. Years later, when he had his own place, they were separated. Or was they divorced now? One of the two, it don't even matter. But, uh, he was a pretty cool guy. There have been some times that I had, I've done some wild stuff. To me, it was wild because I wasn't <clears throat> that type of person. And because I've always had a problem with saying no or telling my feelings, like, I don't want to do this because it made me feel like a hoe, you know, stuff like that. I've never been able to speak my uh, my mind and what I wanted. But it was fun for me to date somebody like that. Because remember in previous videos, my self-esteem was, was not that high. So it's like, if I felt like a guy was like really attractive and he was really handsome then if he wanted me then bam it, it, hey yeah yeah we can do this but we used to do stuff like he would come and pick me up while he was at work which he ended up knowing my dad <laughs> he ended up knowing my dad and uh because my dad used to work security he used to work he worked security and he used to come and get me and i'd be at work with him but y'all know why i was you know at the job right so i'd be wondering sometimes like i wonder how many people how many times them people came <laughs> and looked at those videos well nah because he would have been fired or something i, I assume but it's like if they ever really go back over them videos, boy, they have some stuff to talk about. But yeah, I really, really through the years, like we like say we'll we'll lose touch. And it's always been my fault. I have this thing, guys, with calling people. I can text you all day long. I could text you all day long. I could hold a conversation. I could text you all day long. But talking on the phone is something that I have really never liked doing, right? So that was the problem. Even my my best friend, not not the the girl. I had a girl best friend. I had a boy best friend. The boy best friend stopped talking to me and being my friend because I wasn't. I wouldn't call him. I would just expect for him to call me all the time. <laughs> just want things my way. Just had the wrong idea of everything. Now that I'm in, you know, the state of mind that I'm in now and I know better and I'm seeing all these patterns and things that I've done throughout my life that God is showing me. That's why you went through that. That's why you went through that because you did this, you did that. 
what the heck made me think I was so special that I didn't have to call nobody and I could had to get all the phone calls. I also had a friend that uh, I met online. Over 17, maybe 18 years ago. I don't know. But we were really close. I mean, like, really. Most of my close friends that are my friends now, right today, have all been people that I've met online. All been people that I've met online. Like, when I was maybe 20, 21. They're still in my life right today. So never believe that you can't have a friendship because a person is long distance. Them the one that stay more loyal to you, the one that's not near you. But with me and this person that I'm talking about, the problem with him was, it's like, he wanted me to chase him. I knew that he really liked me. I really liked him. But he wanted me to chase him. And I wasn't supposed to. That's not what we as women are supposed to do. Now, it's okay to let the person know that you're into them and you like them and you want them. And you want to have something to, you know, see if you can, you know, go take it somewhere. But, and I think his problem was he probably had a bunch of options and he just wanted to see if I was going to, I believed if I would have chased him or if I would have just really, you know, like been, you know, more upfront with my feelings, then it may have really probably been something or went somewhere. But the thing about it now that I'm this age is like, I wouldn't have trusted him though because of how it started. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have trusted him. So... I'm going to look him up, not for nothing, but just to see how he's doing, see if he's, uh, and I think he's on TikTok. Maybe I need to, yeah, I think he's on TikTok, but I'm not even in the same city anymore, so I ain't got to worry about uh, <laughs> trying to pray, God, please keep my legs closed. Keep my legs closed. I ain't got to do all that because I'm not even in the same place. <laughs> Which he is very, very tempting. He's a very handsome, good looking man. Yes, he is. That's why I don't understand why when I'm being told that I'm ugly or I'm being told that I'm fat or I'm being told that, you know, just saying mean things just to be mean. That's why I don't understand why it doesn't get to me now. And it never really has gotten to me. It's just like the audacity of you to say something to me like that because you don't like it don't mean nobody else like it. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like the people that say it, it's like I have had <laughs> quite a few handsome guys in my day, if I may say so myself. My oldest son, dad, who's no longer here with us, was so sexy. Oh, my God. This man was so sexy. So sexy. But anyways, I done started reminiscing. I was almost sleep rocking thinking about him. That's because I miss him so much. And I know I probably said on a lot of videos. But I do. He was somebody I can call and talk to. We can call and we can talk to each other. Although he was married, he uh, made sure he got in contact with me and we talked. So, anyway, guys, my battery done went down. This at five percent, and y'all, it's there. I'm gonna talk thirty damn minutes. So let me get off here before it go dead. And I'm sorry, but I'm posting this video with this. It's done, God door, and I'm still posting it. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Bye.